Philip Capet was born in 1268 in Paris to Philip the Bold and Isabella of Aragon. As the second son, he was intended as a backup should something happen to his older brother Louis. Something did indeed happen to young Louis, who perished at a young age under suspicious circumstances. His stepmother Marie was rumoured to have been involved. When his father was crowned, Philip became the heir apparent. As Philip III didn't have the best traits, he delegated the tutoring of his son to his steward, leading Philip to have a very strong understanding of the details of ruling. Upon ascension to the throne, Philip's priority was the build-up of the royal domain and the power of the king. To this end, he upped the centralisation to allow a higher domain limit and increased the crown authority to maximum, relying more on bureaucrats and ministers to manage the kingdom. He received the nickname the Fair due to his handsome features, but was later called the Iron King due to his single-minded approach to rule. This was not always meant as a compliment. Philip's desire for less border gore led to his marriage to the Queen of Navarre, Joan I, as she held land in the Duchy of Champagne. Eventually, through succession, this land would become part of the French Kingdom, removing the out-of-place yellow blot from the map. Philip would not have been a very good French king if he hadn't got into a fight with the English. As Edward I of England held the Duchy of Aquitaine, he was a du jour vassal of Philip. When Philip attempted to increase his crown authority, Edward ignored his request. This began a series of escalating tensions between the two kings, not helped by Philip's continuous addressing of King Edward as if he was simply a vassal. Edward was a king in his own right, with his own kingdom, but because he owned territory within France, he was technically by law a vassal of the French king, which is understandably a cause for tension between the two monarchs. In order to avoid a war, Edward proposed a marriage between himself and Philip's sister, which Philip agreed to with the requirement that Edward grant him his French holdings temporarily as a vice royalty. Edward agreed, but Philip reneged on his offer and claimed them permanently, declaring a war for his claim on Gascony. Philip was allied to the King of Scotland, but after occupying the English holdings on the continent, he was unable to press his advantage, and the war petered out, ending in a white peace. Part of the peace agreement was the marriage of Philip's daughter to Edward's son, whose eventual claim on France would lead to a little-known conflict known as the Hundred Years' War. With this war over, Philip attempted to restore the royal treasury after the expense of campaigning. To this end, he borrowed from and then expelled the Jews, netting him a substantial sum at the cost of his diplomacy. Philip searched for wealthy courtiers without heirs, and banished them from the realm so he could receive their wealth. He also took the business focus, and chose to debase the French coinage via a vent, which was discovered and led to riots in Paris. This willingness to strengthen the monarchy at any cost led to his informal title of the Iron King, mostly used by his enemies. Philip was not above challenging the church either. He instituted free investiture to receive taxes from his bishops, which led to condemnation from the Pope. In response, Philip had the Pope arrested, after taking intrigue focus, and appointed his own anti-Pope. This new Pope took up residence in Avignon, and being surrounded by French territories led to an understandable support for anything the French King desired. With the papacy successfully weakened, Philip began his most infamous act, the expulsion of the Knights Templar. He had already borrowed funds from them, and he was heavily indebted to the Holy Order. They also had substantial holdings within France, which Philip coveted. As the Pope was in no position to defend them, the Templars were imprisoned, banished, or executed at the stake for heresy. Naturally, all their wealth was confiscated by the Crown. Philip IV of France, the Iron King, died in 1314 during a hunting accident. He had turned the French Kingdom into a strong and centralised state, he had crippled the authority of the papacy and destroyed one of the Catholic holy orders, and he had set into motion a chain of events that would lead to more than a century of warfare over who sat at the French throne. While not the most famous of kings, his legacy would impact Europe for centuries to come, and just from the events of his life you can see the inspiration for many of the mechanics in Crusader Kings too.